to Aging Disgracefully, a weekly odd cast of seriously funny and sometimes raunchy monologues. I'm Carolyn Meyer, and this week I have something entirely different for you. Here's episode number 14, another conversation with Lusty Banger, retired porn star. Welcome back, Lusty Banger. As many of our friends know, I'm usually here by myself, but after our interview a few weeks ago, I got a lot of email asking, actually demanding that I invite you to come on Aging Disgracefully again as soon as possible. I'm not at all surprised by that, Caroline. I mean, all my life, people just seem never to get enough of me, but I'm happy to be here, especially if it helps to increase the popularity of your odd cast, as you call it. Probably could stand some love and enough, if you don't mind my saying. I'm sure you're right about that, Lusty. Uh, now, I think it's important for our listeners to know that not only are you a famous porn star, but you've also made a name for yourself as a politician. You ran for governor a few years ago, am I right? That's right, I did. I ran as a third party candidate, <laughs> the cocktail party. My slogan was more cock and more tail for everybody. I felt that I was uniquely qualified for one thing, I have a pornographic memory. I mean, you know, a porn star is like a politician. You tell them what they want to hear and you show them what they want to see. So tell us what position you took on the leading issues during that campaign. Sugar, my position on most issues is almost always horizontal. Oh, I see, Leslie. Well, we know that you were not successful in your race for governor, but I have no doubt whatsoever that you'll be back in the game again before too long. You're right about that. I plan to run for the office of mayor of our fair city next fall. I hope I can count on your support, Caroline. Well, you'll be a very interesting candidate, that's for sure. The last time you were a guest on Aging Disgracefully, you told us about how you'd gotten your start as a porn star with Cousin Orville in your granddaddy's barn. But our followers like to hear more about your childhood. What, what was it like growing up? Oh, honey, I've been blessed with good things from the day I was born. I was a beautiful baby and an adorable little girl. My Daddy always raved about my big blue eyes and my blonde curls. He used to say, lusty sweetheart, you're going places for dang sure. You're going to be on the stage and in moving pictures when you grow up. And he was so right. I always felt sorry for girls who weren't pretty like me. Why, even when I was only about 12, I had a great body cute little jugs, and they just got bigger and more luscious all the time. Well, you're fortunate, Lusty. Some of us, and I'm one, used to pray for nice boobs when we were kids. You must have been like some other girls I knew. Thighs too big, boobies too small. Not pretty or cute like me. Those girls complained and bitched and moaned, poor things. Had to feel sorry for them. <laughs> yeah, that was me. I used to worry I'd end up like my grandmother, you know, with flabby arms like a flying squirrel and droopy turkey neck. I wouldn't fret about it too much if I was you, Caroline. I mean, you're on your way there now, and I hate to say it, there's not a whole lot you can do about it at this point, you know. You could do the Botox thing, stitch up the bags under your eyes. Well, I'm afraid you're right, Lusty, but once you start, where do you stop? Well, you don't stop, Caroline. You just keep on nipping and tucking until the day you die. That's pretty depressing, Lusty. Well, of course it is. I mean, when I was a young girl, I began to hear my friends talking about the lady parts. And there was this Mr. Rogers fella on the TV. 
singing about how boys are fancy on the outside and girls are fancy on the inside. And you know what? Mr. Rogers was half right about the boys. I mean, guys are always comparing their junk. So dang proud of it. And you and I know girls are fancy on the outside, too. True enough, Lusty. Those lady parts can't just be ignored. You bet your booty they can't. And you know, a lot of girls don't like what they got down there. You know, it's like some dude told them, you'd be real pretty if your coochie wasn't so ugly. And that's what gets those girls to worrying about the, that the only thing keeping them from getting laid on a regular basis is the unattractive cha-cha. So what do you recommend to women who worry about their lady parts? I tell him to get a pussy makeover. I looked into it thinking it might be something I'd want to consider, but then I found out that the fastest growing cosmetic surgery is not a boob job or a facelift, but genital rejuvenation. The most popular style of the pussy makeover is the Barbie. Makes you look like a little girl again. Oh, Lusty, frankly, that sounds like a terrible idea. And you know, I'm not the only one who thinks so. I've heard about a sculptor in England by the name of Jamie McCartney. He created an art piece 30 feet long, made up of 10 panels with the plaster casts of the vulvas of 400 women of all ages, from 18 up into their 70s. It took him four years to do all those casts. He called it the Great Wall of Vagina. Technically, of course, they're not vaginas, they're vulvas. Oh, I know that. Think of it this way. The vagina is like heaven that everybody wants to get into, and the vulva, that's the pearly gates. And I do know about the great wild vagina because I am a patron of the arts, and I'm especially fond of sculpture. If you're going to build a big, beautiful wall like the one that our former President Donald J. Watts' face was putting up along the border with Mexico, then I'd say a wall of pussies is a better way to go. But here's my point, Lusty. Jamie McCartney says each woman's vulva is as individual as a fingerprint. Our pussies are perfect just the way they are. Caroline, I gotta tell you, it's just like anything else. Some are more perfect than others, but there might be an unfortunate few that just ugly as sin. But I have to say, the man does have an eye for a very special cha-cha. Really? What makes you so sure of that? Well, here's how I know. I'm well acquainted with that Jamie McCartney fellow. He decided to do another project right here in the good old U.S. of A. He wanted to do a big old American flag, picking a coochie from each of the 50 states to be one of the stars. And pretty soon, pussy casting parties were popping up in towns and cities and states all across the country. As it happened, a bunch of women were invited to a pussy casting party up in Santa Fe. And naturally, as an illustrious porn star, I was on the guest list. Some wealthy art collector threw the party in her house up there near the Santa Fe Opera, serving wine and cheese. And a couple of local artists volunteered to be in charge of the molds. Well, they used this stuff called alginate kind of a blue goop that said dentists use to take impressions of your teeth. And you were invited to this party? Did you go? Well, sure I did. Each of us is given a little plastic cup of this blue goop. And we fit it up nice and snugged our privates the way you'd fit it on your gums if you were getting false teeth. The stuff sets up real quick and then you're done. So tell us what happened. Well, we made our pussy molds, and we all had another glass of wine, and we talked about this and that, and, and then the assistants made us each a plaster cast from our mold to take home as a souvenir. 
I have the cast of my cooter up on a shelf between my dictionary and my Bible, <laughs> my two favorite books. And the mold of your Volvo, what happened to that? Well, it got sent back to the sculpture studio in England. And here's the best part. I've been saving it till the very end here. I eventually learned that the artist, Jamie, picked my coochie out of all the others to be one of the 50 stars of the American flag. My cha-cha is now the official pink taco of New Mexico. So I ask you, what better qualification do I need to, to be the next mayor of our fair city? Congratulations, Pink Taco of New Mexico and candidate for mayor. Lusty Banger, you are forever a blazing star in the pornographic universe. You can read this and other stories on my blog at funnycarolyn.com and leave me a message. Tell me what you think. Be sure to come back next week for episode number 15, Winging It. Mm -hmm.